I think uh, we we deserve this, and and then you know we got the final, and uh, it's gonna be important. Every final is uh, is different, but it's it's important to get there. It's a new competition, but everyone was so excited at the football club when you qualified for the final. What did it mean to the players to know you were going to play on this this prestigious stage? I think it's, uh, it's not not just for the for the players, for the fans, for for the club. It's, uh, I think it's very huge you know, to get to the final and, and then to play for two years in in uh, in Europe. I think it's uh, very very important. We we know the importance of the of the final, uh, but we 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 are really. We are really focused and uh, we, we try to, to get there more prepared. There's a long gap between the end of the domestic season, if you like, and this final. What have you guys done to, uh, to perhaps have a little break but also to prepare for the big night itself? No, we've been, we've been in Portugal all, all together. I think it uh, was uh, really good to, to have a chance to, to stay together and uh, away from the family, and, uh, but uh, just to, to find our... our <laughs> As you say, our family. <laughs> so I think it was really important, yeah. Has it felt a bit like a family now, West Ham? You know, you've been here for so long, you're such a part of the, the fabric, if you like, of the football club. You must have an awful lot of strong links to, to the fan base and to, to all aspects of West Ham. Yeah, yeah I think, I, think I, I, feel, I feel at home. I feel at home and now it's eight years and uh, I think uh, I, I respect the club, I respect the fans and uh, the fans respect me. I think it's really, really good to, to be loved and uh, love, love all, all everyone around and uh, it's very, very important. I think this is more, more exciting even for the final, yeah. How has the club changed, do you think, in your time here? Because when you think it's Ooh. a different football club to, to the Ooh. one you arrived at? Yeah, it was different. It was different. I think uh, I think I'm more I'm more proud because uh, because since since uh, since COVID since uh, the manager came in, uh, the things uh, behind you can see a lot of changes. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, I don't need even to describe. And if uh, the people knows uh, about the department, everything you, you can see. Yeah. It's, it's interesting you mentioned COVID because it does feel as though the football club kind of had a little transformation during the COVID period. It's very difficult before that, and since then, so, so much has been achieved. Is that fair? Yeah, I think it, uh, it's been like a uh, togetherness, and I think it's, uh, it's been really, really a good journey. And just finally for me, when it comes to walking out there wearing a West Ham shirt, in a final, what, you know, tell us a little bit what it'll mean for you to, to do that. You've had a long career, an illustrious career in many ways. What will, what will that night mean for you? Uh, very important, very, very excited, and, uh, and I think it's it's what like uh, we wanted, and I think we achieved, and uh, we we need to be like uh, patient and uh, be respect, respectful. Angela, can I start by taking you back 11 months to a pre-season friendly at Boreham Wood when you came on and there was a lot of emotion around because yeah. it was your first appearance in an awful long time after injury. That night, you would never have guessed that 11 months later you'd be preparing for a European final. Uh, I think it was uh, really, really emotional because last year, last year we we get to semi-final and uh, I couldn't. I could I couldn't have a chance like to 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 be with the lads and uh, be prepared and did I didn't have summer and uh, went through a lot of things and uh, uh, having my family behind and uh, then get to the final this year I think it's uh, very very emotional and what we uh, what we expected and uh, what we wanted did you think that when you were injured for so long, you may not play again. Uh, not really, not really. Uh, to be honest, I I think the things like uh, uh, let me come back so so quick um, because uh, because I've been here for for many years and uh, everyone treat me like with respect and uh, uh, see the lads like uh, going forward it makes me like uh, more more ambitious and um, to get back.
Only Aaron Cresswell, I think, has been here longer than you. Yeah. I, I remember when you scored your first goal in the cup tie against yeah. Liverpool. You, didn't, you, you remember that, yeah? I remember yeah. that. I, I remember <laughs> how you barely spoke any English, but you still wanted to yeah, do every yeah. interview in English. Um, you've had a great time here so far. You've moved from up to Park to London Stadium. Would this almost, I'm not trying to finish your West Ham career, but would it be the icing on the cake for you as a West Ham player to win a European trophy with them? Uh, I think I think we we did we did a lot. We've been a long journey, right? Everything comes from the process, and uh, our process has been fantastic, uh, to be honest. To to play uh, for the second time in, uh, European football is very very amazing for the club, even for me. And uh, uh, I think we 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 take things step by step and uh, we respect like we are in the final and uh, we, we want to get our chance. You, you of course were part of the Italy team that were in the Euros in 2012 that finished second. You, you've been in a European final with Juventus. Is, how much, how valuable is that experience for you and for the team? It's very, it's very valuable. It's very valuable. I think it's not just me. We got a lot of, a lot of players like uh, Zuma, uh, like Emerson as well. They, they played. They, they won something. So it's very, very important. And they brought into this team, into this squad, something very interesting. So it's, uh, it's good. It's good to have this kind of, uh, like, uh, uh, knowledge. Finally, talk to me about the captain. He, it was widely expected that this will be Declan Rice's last game before leaving. Just give me an idea what it's been like to play with him, and maybe is he one of the best players in that position you've ever played with? No, I think I, had, uh, I remember. I remember the first time when Dec like played I was Burnley away, and uh, it's been really, really emotional. I saw him like uh, growing. Uh, very well and uh, very humble. And he wanted to listen. He wanted to growing up in every part on the pitch. He wanted to do something uh, different than everyone. And uh, I think it's something like he deserved. And the things like uh, all the speculation has been around is uh, uh, the 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 way he behaving is uh, is fantastic. Brilliant stuff. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.